Who needs to fork out big bucks on a field monitor for your camera when you already have one in your pocket? Here's how to turn your smartphone into an inexpensive monitor alternative. You may notice a lot of pro videographers and cinematographers using a film monitor in their shoots or productions. You'll see it often propped on top of their cameras or top handle or attached to their gimbal to get a better view and angle, as well as get better focus and exposure while shooting. But even in a home studio setup like for recording YouTube videos, a monitor can be super helpful to frame yourself from relying on your camera's small flip out screen. Or even more so if your camera doesn't have a selfie facing screen like my Sony a6500. A small HD or Field World 7 inch film monitor can run you about 200 US dollars at the least, which for small time creators or beginning filmmakers may still be quite an investment. But why look or pay elsewhere for a screen that monitors your recording when you already have a screen which might very well be bigger, brighter and longer lasting than a regular field monitor? That's right, I'm talking about your smartphone. You can download the USB Camera Pro app in the Google Play Store. I unlock the app with the paid version so that I don't get bothered by all the advertisements. Mount your phone using any generic phone clamp or holder and attach it to the body or handle of your camera. If you use a cold shoe mount, you can just attach it to the cold shoe of your camera or to the top handle if you have one. If you're using an articulating arm, then you can pretty much attach it anywhere and any way as long as there's a quarter inch thread to attach it to. Connect the smaller end of the HDMI cable to your camera and the bigger end to a HDMI capture card. I just use the cheap generic brand one and it works pretty fine for me. To connect the HDMI capture card to your phone, we're gonna have to pass it through an OTG adapter, which can be either a short cable style or a dongle, like the one that may have come packaged with your phone. I do suggest a short cable style so that you don't have this big chunky thing sticking out of your phone. Now you can turn on your camera and open the USB Camera Pro app on your phone and it should be able to detect it. And voila! Now you have your own field monitor without spending an extra buck. Easily, a reason why you would use this setup instead of buying an actual field monitor is that it's the cheap alternative, especially if you're on a budget, because technically, you don't have to spend much at all since I'm sure you already own a smartphone. The money you could use to buy a monitor could be better prioritized in purchasing a lens or some lights, for example. Not only do you already own a smartphone, but that screen it uses is more than likely better than most field monitors you would pay for. Depending on phone model, of course, you could potentially have superior screen resolution, bigger screen size, more accurate color reproduction, touchscreen functionality, and higher screen brightness. A nice bonus is you can easily zoom into your shot with a simple smartphone pinch or pull gesture. Great for nailing your camera focus. What's also great about using your smartphone as a monitor is that it can double as an external recorder, saving a separate recording on your phone. It might not be 4K resolution or the highest bitrate quality, but it's handy and great for general viewing or previewing purposes. Also, you may find recording with all the HUD or camera user interface elements useful, especially for teaching purposes. Lastly, using your smartphone as a field monitor is much more convenient since you'll have less gear to carry around. Instead of lugging around a bulky field monitor and the chunky heavy batteries that are commonly used with it. And besides, your average smartphone battery can last almost a whole day of use. 
cons of using this setup with the USB camera app is that you won't get any additional information such as analytics and on-screen guides. There's no histograms, no zebras, no focus peaking guides. All you get is just a bare screen monitoring what the camera sees. Another great advantage of advanced field monitors that this simple monitoring setup doesn't have is the ability to add and preview LUTs. This is a super handy function, especially when you shoot in log color profiles where you see an unrealistic flat washed out image. A disadvantage of this smartphone monitoring setup is that it can get pretty busy and finicky with all the wires and adapters. There are some alternatives that do offer wireless monitoring, but will cost you a little extra. Now this isn't the only way to use your smartphone as a field monitor, but it is the most basic and cheapest way. There is a third party app available in the Google Play or Apple App Store called Monitor Plus, which lets you connect your Sony mirrorless camera, either via cable or wirelessly, depending on your camera model's capabilities, and not only monitor and record your camera screen, but also control your actual camera settings from the app. Additionally, it has all those professional field monitor features such as on-screen analytics and guides, as well as previewing with a LUT. It's a really great option actually, but only if you own a Sony mirrorless camera and one that is more recent. I own an older Sony a6500 and not all the features are available. Another smartphone field monitor alternative is purchasing the Axoon M1 for Android phones or the newer Axoon Simo for iOS devices. At first glance, these look just like a plain phone clip, but actually are packed with functionality such as converting a HDMI feed, external battery or plug-in power options, live broadcasting, and its own dedicated field monitor app. Since this option is both a hardware and software upgrade, you will need to pay quite a bit extra for it, but it's still slightly short of the full-fledged price of a field monitor. The last alternative, and probably the least cheapest, is if you own the Sony Xperia Pro smartphone, which has a built-in HDMI port that makes the phone literally a ready-to-go field monitor with online live broadcasting options to boot. No other smartphone on the market boasts such a specific feature of having its own HDMI port and built-in field monitoring. The biggest clincher of this setup, of course, is the price tag. $2,000 for a professional field monitor that also happens to be a smartphone, anybody? Oftentimes, being a filmmaker is about being as resourceful as you can. Using what you already have, like a versatile smartphone, can enhance your filmmaking process, which in this case is to pair it with your camera setup and use it as a very useful field monitor. If anything, this could simply be a temporary setup or stepping stone to a more professional setup when you are finally ready to purchase and use a real field monitor. Work like a pro now and you'll definitely be a pro sooner than you think. Hey, if you found value in this video, please do help support the algorithm by hitting that like button or subscribe to my channel to see more awesome content like this. Until next time, reframe your mind. Thank you.